Hi, my name is Rachel Thomas and I'm a 22 year old geography student studying in London at King's College. One of the main reasons that I'm applying to work at camp is because I've always loved working with children. I first started working with kids a few years ago at my local leisure centre where I was lifeguarding at the time and I began to help out as an assistant in lessons before going on to be qualified to teach the lessons myself. I was doing this up to about six times a week, uh, maybe three or four times a day, with the youngest kids being three years old at preschool and then up to adult lessons. I think if I asked most children who I've taught to swim what their description of me as their teacher would be, I think I'd be called the fun teacher. I think this is because I know the importance of fun and games and being relaxed whilst you're learning. So it really doesn't feel like learning. It just feels like something you look forward to coming to every time you do. When making sure lessons are fun, I also have to incorporate age and ability into that. So I will base the warm up, the stroke of the lesson and the contrasting activity and the cool down based on what the children can do and what their aspirations are for their next level. Usually with younger children or children that are more scared, this incorporates blowing bubbles, just focusing on a leg kick, having fun, splashing water, maybe getting their face underwater if they're brave enough to do so. And then with the slightly older or more advanced children, this can look like relay races, getting the noodles and the floats out to make a train or to have horse races. Though nothing seems to put a smile on a kid's face more than letting them know that I'm going to get the sinkers out. I was swimming myself from about year six, so I think that's about 10 or 11 years old, up until I was about 14 or 15 with my exams, where I was training about four or five times a week and competing most weekends. Alongside competing in straight swimming, I would also compete in lifeguard competitions where I got all my rookie and bronze badges and would go around the country competing in the life saving as well. Some of the highlights of my swimming career are probably working with my brother to win gold medals at group events which we would enter together and the swimathon which I have done most years since I was working at the leisure centre where the swimming teachers and the lifeguards would come together and form a team to raise money for Marie Curie, which is some of the photos that are on my application. From there, I've gone on to university and I've carried on teaching intermittently alongside my studying. And it helps me to relax, de-stress, and it's a real motivational boost throughout the week. My love for water has not just been in the pool, but I was also part of Royal Marine Cadets and joined Cadets when I was about 12, up until I was too old to carry on until I was 18. Throughout my time in cadets, I would do everything from rowing to sailing to power boating, kayaking. I even did dragon boating when I was lucky enough to get selected to go to Hong Kong. In addition to the kayaking that I did with cadets, me and my mum also bought our own kayaks, which we would take out to sea and we would kayak across the coast and then be picked up at our destination at the other end. This is something I love doing in the summer when the weather's nice and the sea is nice and calm. And it's something and a skill that I would love to share with other children. Alongside my swimming, I also did archery growing up, which I did for about a few years, which I absolutely loved. I would be training twice a week and I'd be entering competitions and winning all my badges and awards. And I think this is a really good skill to share with other kids because it really works on your concentration and you have to be quite relaxed when you're doing it. So any worries that you have, you just have to sort of let go of and just focus on one thing.